Good morning. Today we're looking at rest. And whilst all of these practices we're talking about are so spiritual, it's absolutely unavoidable to separate Sabbath from spirit and physical. So I'm reading from Exodus. This is um, Exodus 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Old Testament and even the Ten Commandments can get such a bad rap. People um, say things like, well, we're in a new covenant and those old things don't apply anymore. But I think what's so beautiful is that if we understand that the Hebraic people would have heard the Ten Commandments as more of wedding type vows. And so if we take away the framework of the Ten Commandments having been rules, and we understand that they were actually for a relationship and all of them intended to be a gift to us to enhance our lives and to add to our lives and to make them abundant, then suddenly these commandments don't seem onerous anymore. Our family did a season of Sabbath and it was the most life-giving thing. We would um, kind of shut everything down from a Friday evening to Saturday evening and make sure we didn't have to go to the shops, that we didn't even have to respond to calls. And we would just feast without any guilt and be together and play games and read and really rest and restore. And physically enjoying a Sabbath like that and having that time to just focus more on each other and on God is certainly a gift. But there's more from the New Testament. Hebrews 4, 9 to 10 says this, There remained then a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For anyone who enters God's rest also rests from his own work, just as God did from his. I'd really encourage you to start taking a Sabbath. As you really sit down and relax and unwind, Something in your physical starts to happen that gives you an inkling of the spiritual rest that God has for us as believers and followers of Him. It is the most life-giving thing to do. And we have all this time ahead of us to try and have 24 hours of complete rest and restoring. And I trust that this would be a practice that you would continue long after the lockdown.